What's up, Markerheads? It's Karen, and I am bringing you my winged deer painting, which I had a poll on my Twitter account seeing which, you, which painting you guys would like to see first. Um, and I intended to upload this on Christmas Eve, but it did not work out, so here it is. Um, and I just wanted to kind of talk you through what I'm doing. So the first thing I did with this painting was I sketched out the deer, and then I outlined it with fine liner uh, masking fluid, and this stuff is awesome. It makes it a lot easier to paint around fiddly edges like this deer's feathery wings. So I just wanted to show you guys the application process, because it took a long time. Um, a lot of time taken in watercolor paintings is done mixing paints, so <laughs> I also included me showing you guys how I mixed my paints just because it took a long time to do, um, and that was just like a really sped up clip. Uh, then I added some water to the paper and now I'm applying some color. Um, and the paints I'm using are uh, a honey-based paint and they look really, really nice and I really like them. Um, if I could remember the name of them, I'd tell you, but I can't remember, <laughs> so I'll insert the name of these paints somewhere on screen once I figure out what they're called. Uh, I really, really like the way that they dry and the way that they look. They're kind of soft and pretty and they're also very vibrant at the same time, so I mean it just depends how much water you use, as with any watercolor paint. But I really, really like them, and I'm happy to have them. A, a viewer sent them to me, so thank you to Halo Wolf Crafts, um, because I really love these paints, and I have gone on to mix a full palette based on just the three paints that they sent me, so it's been a really, really nice thing to have, so I really do appreciate that. Um, my favorite part of the process is this part, the background mixing, and I do a lot of playing around. Like, here I'm adding some... Copic ink, some uh, colorless blender um, to the page, and that kind of alters the the texture of the paper, and it makes the paints react differently where the alcohol has been applied. So I really like to play around with texture. I've had a lot of fun learning watercolors, and it's something that I'm really happy that I picked up last year. Um, and I definitely plan on doing more watercolor paintings in the future. Uh, I hope you like my editing style. I've done a few things that are in slower time and then more parts that are sped up. Um, just because I've been trying to play around with more varied uh, speeds in my videos and I hope that you like it. If you don't, uh, you know, let me know in the comments or if you do, let me know. Um, I'm kind of trying to give you guys an idea of the speed I normally go at and then you can compare it to how fast the video is sped up in other areas, um, and you know, I I think it's I think it's interesting, but it's also kind of hit and miss in certain areas. So um, I'm gonna t continue to work on that, work on improving that. So since this is after the holiday season, I want to ask you guys: Did you guys have a good holiday? I sure hope you did. I did. I had a really fun fun holiday. Um, I didn't get a whole lot of gifts this year, but that's because uh, <laughs> we have a son and he got most of the presents, which is A-OK -okay with me. Um, but it was a lot of fun to do Christmas with him and with uh, our family members, so look forward to a video I did. I did a present for one of my family members, um, and it was a drawing, and so I'll be posting that later on in the month. And I just wanted to give you guys a shot of what the edges look like after pulling off that masking fluid. It just peels right off, kind of like Simply Peel nail polish stuff. <laughs> um, it's pretty much the same stuff, so that stuff works really well and I really, really like um, masking fluid. I definitely recommend if you do watercolors to give it a try if you haven't already because it's a lot of fun to use. Um, with the deer, I kind of laid in all of the shadows really lightly because the deer is supposed to be kind of a pale pink color, so I only laid in the shadows with um, some purpley pink colors, and then then I put in some more details afterwards. But the deer was kind of a challenge because I wanted it to be almost more pearlescent in color, and I couldn't figure out how to do it with watercolors. I kind of knew what I wanted it to look like if I had used Copics, but 
I really wanted to try out these paints, so that's why I went with watercolors instead. And I'm happy with the way the deer looks, but it's not my original vision. I wanted it to be a little more pearlescent in color, have a little bit of blues and yellows in there as well. But it wound up being mostly pink, which is still fine and I still like it a lot. Um, if you guys like the deer as well, I do have merch on my Redbubble site of this painting. And I especially really like the way that um, things like the the mug look, because, I mean, I like mugs personally, but um, it's a wide format picture, so it wraps around the cup pretty well. Um, as for the year 2017, by the way, Happy New Year, <laughs> I am looking forward to doing a lot more uh, illustration work. I'm working on a book, so that will be something I'm going to be working on. Um, through January and February. I've been working on it already, but it is something I'm going to be working a lot on in the next few weeks. So a lot of the videos you'll see are backlog videos that I've been recording while I've been on hiatus. Um, and so, for instance, this painting I did probably in August. <laughs> I can't remember for sure. But, um, and I also have done a few other paintings in the meantime. Uh, and these are all really, like, I think they're all paintings that I really improved work on, um, or illustrations. Some of them are Copic illustrations and some of them are paintings, but I feel like I've improved a lot uh, in the past few months since I've been online. And um, I have been posting, like, works in progress on my, uh, Instagram and Twitter account, so you might know what I've been working on, but if you don't follow me on my social media, those are my social medias. Um, I'll leave a link, link to those in the description below so that you guys can kind of give get a better idea of what I've been doing. Um, you can kind of look back and get a sneak peek of what will be on my channel in the next few weeks. Um, I'll also be posting on Instagram progress of my book project and all sorts of stuff. That. Uh, I'm also working on craft videos because I want to revive my craft channel um, because it's just been so long and uh, <laughs> I really miss doing crafts. So I hope that you guys had a great year, 2016, and I hope that 2017 will be even better. Um, thank you so much for watching my channel and I really, really appreciate all your guys' support. Um, please subscribe if you have not already, and I will see you guys next week.